everybody. Good morning. I hope you are enjoying your day. Let's start with our feet relaxed on the floor, about hip foot apart, knees and feet hip foot apart, knees right above our ankles. Rolling our shoulders up, back and down. Take a moment here, if, it, if you're comfortable closing your eyes, and if it's okay and helpful to put a hand on belly and hand on the chest, feeling inhaling from belly to chest, expanding. Exhaling from chest to belly, contracting. Let's continue this deep breathing. Clearing our minds. Being here present. Letting go of expectations. Judgment. And competition. to bring hands together in front of our chest. Let's reach up. Exhaling, opening arms, taking time, taking shoulder blades toward each other, feeling it in the chest and our shoulders. Let's do it again, reaching up to the sky, opening our hearts. And again, hands together. Exhaling. When you're ready to bring hands together and opening them wide, reaching up and to the heart center. Let's do it again. Wide arms, reaching up and coming to the heart center. One more time. And reaching up, hold it here. Pose, uh, interlacing fingers. Let's send our index fingers to the ceiling. Lift our chest, taking an inhale. Exhale, gently just looking up. Coming back, center, left, take an inhale. Exhale, as we tilt to one side, let's line up our shoulders, gently turning chest toward the ceiling. Coming back, lifting. Exhaling, tilting the other way, lining up our shoulders. And coming center. Turning palms to the ceiling, lifting chest, relaxing neck, tummy tucked in, opening our arms, rolling shoulders forward and up, exhaling back and down. I'm going to slide to the front of my chair and shoulders forward and up, exhaling back and down. Let's do it one more time. Shoulders forward and up, exhaling back and down when you're ready shoulders back and up exhaling forward and down shoulders back and up exhaling forward and down and one more time shoulders back and up exhaling forward and down shrugging with an inhale shoulders to ears and releasing inhaling shrugging Exhaling and releasing. And one more time, shoulders to ears. Exhaling and releasing. Shoulders forward and up. Exhaling back and down. Let's keep our shoulders in place. Chin parallel to the floor. Take a moment here. Feel your feet are relaxed. Toes are released. Weight is centered. Taking an inhale. Exhaling right ear to the right shoulder. Breathing into it, relaxing, breathing. Bringing chin to chest, center front. Feeling the back of our neck. Let's round our spine. Gently keep going, rounding the spine. Coming up to shoulders, rolling them forward. 
Neck is rounding, chin is basically touching our chest. Let's have our fingers reaching in the air. Just gently reaching. Keep bringing chin down, tummy is tucked in, tilting pelvic floor. Remember if you are standing, your knees are soft. And let's reach. Keep opening the shoulders, feeling that stretch. When you're ready, hands come back and slowly rolling up, rolling shoulders back and down. When you're ready, everything aligned, taking an inhale, exhaling left ear to the left shoulder, relaxing into it. Make sure shoulder is in place, it's ear coming to it. Bringing chin down to chest. And again, let's start rounding our spine slowly from the lowest part coming up, shoulders rolling forward, chin to chest, and then again, reaching with the fingertips in the air. Tummy tucked in, tilting pelvic floor, reaching, feeling that rounding of our spine, feeling the back of our neck. Inhaling. Exhaling, hands coming back to our legs and very slowly rolling up, rolling shoulders up, back and down. As you keep your hands on your thighs, sitting or standing, relax your shoulders and starting looking up, chin toward the ceiling. You decide how far, okay, to go back. Coming back center, rolling shoulders forward, chin to chest. And now, let's have a knee soft and fingers coming to our feet without us doing anything. Feeling that gravity pulling our fingers down. Feeling that weight of our upper body, feeling the shoulders, head, releasing it down. Our job is just to make sure knees are soft, tummies are tucked in, let it happen by nature, slowly. Inhaling, exhaling, let's do it slowly, coming back up, very slowly. As the chin comes up, let's open our arms, reaching up, Tilting back, coming center, releasing arms, shoulders forward and up, exhaling back and down. I hope by now your shoulders are feeling more comfortable. Let's work on our hips, hands to our waist, feet about hip width apart or slightly wider than our hips, tilting pelvic floor and rotating our hips. Let's keep our chin parallel to the floor, Breathing into it, tilting and rotating. Chin up, tummy tucked in, breathing. Let's do one more this direction. When you're ready, coming first center and going the other way. Tilting and rotating, changing direction. Tummy is engaged, chin up, shoulders back and down, deep breathing. You're doing the same thing if you're standing, tilting and rotating. Remember that sometime if you like to stand up for some poses or if you want to sit the whole time or stand up the whole time. These are all options to remember, to consider. When you're ready to come back center, and releasing shoulders, rolling them back and down. Bring hands to your lower back, lifting chest, looking up. That's all we are doing. But see that shoulders are going opening and shoulder blades are going toward each other. Then feel your legs. If they are not engaged, engage, squeeze your leg and hip muscles, hands pressing onto our lower back. Even if you are sitting, we are doing the same thing. And then coming center, hands to our thighs. Inhale, extending forward. 
exhaling and arching let's do it again extending keeping it flat and exhaling arching inhaling extending forward exhaling and arching coming back forward flat chest to thighs exhaling and arching let's do it one more time and coming back releasing shoulders let's work on our legs and feet feeling the ball of your right foot just side to side on the ball of that foot just to get a feeling for it and then come to the ball of your foot and see the knees going straight up and it's not going forward it's coming straight up relaxing neck chest up chin up then to the heel and keep bringing toes in to feel the back of your leg and your calf and again to the ball of our foot and to the heel one more time to the ball of our foot and to the heel now let's go to the ball of our foot rotate ankles as we go to the heel to the ball and keep going rotating our ankle remembering chin parallel to the floor core muscles engaged breathing shoulders back and down and let's do one more this way when you're ready let's go the other way rotating ankles going around breathing and come back center release wiggle relax shoulders and let's go to the left foot to the ball of our left foot side to side everything engaged going side to side and then coming center to the ball of our foot knee goes straight up chest lifting shoulders back chin parallel core muscles engaged and then to the heel keep bringing toes in to feel your calf and back of your legs and again to the ball of our foot knee going straight up and to the heel let's do this one more time ball of our foot and to the heel now let's rotate our ankles from the ball of our foot as we go to the heel from heel to the ball of our foot and rotating our ankle tummy tucked in chest up long neck breathing shoulders back and down deep breathing changing direction let's go the other way and one more when you come center move the legs a little bit just gently come to the sides of your feet even if you're standing try to send the knees away and come to the sides outside of your feet and then release come to the balls of your feet and release go to the side bend the knees away make sure they point away release and come to the balls of your feet releasing to the sides of our feet, knees out, to the balls, lifting. One more time, let's go to the side, tummy tucked in, chest up, releasing, and to the balls, lifting. Relax, relaxing shoulders, rolling them back and down. Let's use the long side of our mats in the chair, sitting in the front, legs wide. We are gonna do the three uh, part exhale with arms starting up bend bend and down if you don't want to come all the way to the floor come into our thigh level so if you are standing your legs are gonna bend and down let's work on it reaching up keep the head and chest up no matter if standing or sitting let's take a big inhale together Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. 
center, releasing arms, rolling shoulders forward and up, exhaling back and down. When you're ready to bring your arms to shoulder height with palms up, keep the legs the way they are. <laughs> if you're standing, bend the knees, open up the chest, bringing fingers to shoulders. If you're standing, extend legs and reaching straight up. Bending legs, fingers to shoulders, wide arms, tummies tucked in. Extend legs, reaching up. Again, bend, open, fingers to shoulders, extending and reaching. Bend legs, fingers to shoulders, wide arms, fingers to shoulders, lifting. Let's keep going. If you're sitting, Remember, you can come to the balls of your feet. Release, and again, to the balls of your feet, and release. Lifting, keep working on this. Center, wide arms, and again, down, and lifting, and down. One more time. When you open your arms, lift the chest. Let's stay here. If you want to be on the balls of your feet, if you are sitting, and make sure wherever you are, knees are going away. Opening the chest, arms extending, taking a deep breath, exhaling, reaching up, tilting to one side, lining up our shoulders, coming back, lifting, Tilting the other way, lining up our shoulders. Coming back, releasing arms, rolling shoulders up, back, and down. Let's bring hands together, heels, toes. If you are using the mat for warrior one, let's go to the back of our mats and bring right foot forward. If you are using a chair, turning to the left side of your Right side of your chair? No, left side of your chair. No, right side, <laughs> excuse me, right side. So this is the right leg bent. I want both uh, on the mat and on the floor to have the same thing going on. So we want right leg be the one bending, left leg extending, chest lifting, hands and arms to double you. We are gonna push out with an exhale Bring it in, pushing out, inhaling, bring it in and feeling it in our shoulders and blades, pushing out. If you're standing, <clears throat> your right leg is forward, pushing out and bringing it in. Let's keep the leg bent, keep working with our arms to start, tummy tucked in. You see that my upper body is not moving. My arms are moving, but my upper body is not moving forward as the arms go forward. Let's do this one more time. Push it forward, bring it in, taking it straight up, extending our leg. Remember what we did. Bending elbows, bending legs, pushing out, bringing it in, Arms go up, legs extend, lift, bend and bend. Pushing out, bringing it in as we take arms up, extending the front leg. Again, bending, pushing out, bringing it in and extending. Let's do this one more time. Remember in the chair, you move your foot to extend and bend your leg. Come to the ball of your foot or heel. 
and lift. When you come back, bend and let's hold. Relaxing neck, chest lifting, tummy tucked in, tilting pelvic floor. Find all those muscles to support your lower back. <clears throat> Taking an inhale. Exhale, bring hands to your front thigh. <clears throat> Extending the front leg. Remember in the chair you are coming to the heel of your foot. Both legs now are extending, hands sliding down our front leg, the right leg, the one that used to be bent. Hold on to your ankle or hands on the floor. Raising the floor would be a great way for this. And in the chair you are doing the same thing. <clears throat> Your right leg is extending, and we are bringing our face toward our leg. Keep working on extending that front leg. Tummy's tucked in, shoulders relaxed, and let's turn that left hip down a touch, lining up our hips, working on that front leg, extending, rounding the spine, face coming down, relaxing shoulders and neck. <clears throat> When you're ready, inhale in. Exhale, head up, bend the leg, shift the back foot a touch forward, and let's turn to the center. Hands on the floor or raised floor, you decide. Face coming down, crown of our head pointing down. If you're standing, this is where you are with legs extending. If you are sitting, legs bent, or again, if you want to gently pull toes up and bring your face down. Lifting head, <coughs> relax toes, hands coming to our ankles, hands to our shins, hands to our thighs, flattening our spine, tummy tucked in, inhaling. Exhaling on, hinging, reaching up, tilting back, coming center, releasing arms, shoulders forward and up, exhaling back and down. Let's work on the left leg being the one that is bent. So in the chair, you're turning to the left side of your chair with the left leg bending and right leg extending back. And on the mat, this is the warrior one. Let's start with hands and arms to W, chest lifting, exhaling, pushing out, inhaling, bringing it in, exhaling out, tummy is tucked in, and let's bring it in. Exhaling, pushing out, and inhaling, bringing it in. Let's do it again. Pushing out, upper body staying in place, and let's bring it in. Relax your front toes. Next time, let's push out. As you bring it in, taking them straight up and extending the front leg. Bending, arms and leg. Pushing out, bringing it in, Lifting arms, extending leg. And again, turn that hip to have both hips pointing forward. Pushing out, arms come in, they go up, leg extending. Again, bending, out, in, extending. Bring them bending, pushing out, Bringing it in, extending. One last one. Bending, pushing out, bringing it in, extend and reach. When you're ready, bring hands down. <coughs> extending, hinging. If you're in the chair, remember you come to the heel of your foot. Hands come to our ankle. If you want to raise the floor, reaching for your blocks or if you are using books, face coming down, keep turning that outside hip in and down, 
rounding our spine and face coming to our front leg. If you are standing, this is where it's going to be. Relaxing into it. Keep turning that outside hip in and down. Relaxing neck and shoulders. Deep breathing, working on that front leg, extending, tummy tucked in, sending hips away. Lifting head, start bringing hands to your thighs, flattening spine, turning to your center if you are sitting. Again, you are in the front of the chair. If you want to lift the toes, sliding hands, crown of our head down, hands under our face, relaxing neck. If you want to raise the floor using your blocks or whatever you're using to raise the floor, bringing head up, bringing left hand under our face, and twisting to our right, taking right hand up, opening the chest. Head remaining aligned with our hips. Tummy is tucked in. So if you're standing, lift the chest, bring the head up so it's not hanging down and nor tensing down, up. Releasing, changing hands. Now right hand under our face. Tummy is tucked in. Twisting to your left, keeping head aligned with our hips, opening the chest. Feeling that, feeling the aligning of our shoulders. Releasing our hand down, hands shoulder width apart, crown of our head down, releasing shoulders, shaking neck and head, breathing into it, lifting head, lifting hands to our shins, hands to our thighs, Engaging core muscles, tummy is tucked in, taking an inhale, exhaling on, hinging. Adjust the feet if they are too wide. Let's reach up, tilting back, coming center, releasing arms, rolling shoulders forward and up, exhaling back and down. Let's bring our hands together, reaching up. Turning to our right leg and staying. Again, if you are sitting, if you want to extend the leg, come to the heel of your foot and breathe into it. Deep breathing, relaxing neck and shoulders. Tummy is tucked in. And turning to center, adjust. Coming up. Flattening our spine, unhinging, reaching up, tilting back, coming center, turning to left leg. And again, if you want to extend the left leg, if you are standing, both legs are extending, face is coming down. If you are sitting and you like to extend your leg, come to the heel of that foot, breathing into it, relax into it. Tummy is tucked in. Turning to center, <coughs> hands on our shins, hands on our thighs, flat arms to our sides, unhinging, and let's reach up, tilting back, coming center, releasing arms, rolling shoulders up, back and down. In the chair, let's all of us slowly bring feet toward each other. And then sitting in the chair, if you are sitting in the chair, let me show it in the chair first. And then I, we will go down to the mat. So bring the soles of your feet together. Hold on to your chair and lean so your shoulders are on the chair. Pulsing as we press feet onto each other, pulsing knees. Stay here, let me go to the mat so we can work on mat as well. Please go to the back of your mat. Let's reach up, swan dive, forward fold, bending legs, sideways coming down to our mats, 
and rolling to our backs. Bringing soles of our feet together. If you want to take arms overhead and make diamond shape with them as well, as you make sure lower back is pressing down, let's pulse our knees. Keep pressing feet onto each other. When you're ready to stop pulsing, all of us, gently bring knees down. Feel that knees coming down toward the floor, feeling it in your hips, making sure lower back has plenty of support by engaging our core muscles, leg and hip muscles. Every muscle in our body should be working right now for us. Breathing into it. Now, if you are okay to keep left leg where it is, if it's uncomfortable, bring the left knee to center with your foot on the floor. Drag your right foot down on the side of your foot. And then, if you want to keep it on the mat or slightly off the mat, dragging it to the side. Flexing your foot, bending the knee, bringing it back to center. On the side of your foot again, dragging it down, taking it side, bending and flexing the foot, coming back to center. Continue with your right leg on the mat. Let me go to the chair. So you are in the chair with your shoulders on the back. Keep left leg as is or bring it center. Let's drag the right foot on its side. Take it out to the side. Flex and bend and coming back. Let's do it again. Dragging it down to extend our leg. Dragging it to the side. Flexing, bending and back to center. <clears throat> Keep going. Remember left leg can be here or here. Drag the right foot. Taking it side, flexing and bending, releasing. Let's do this one more time. Dragging it down, dragging it to the side, flex and bend, center, release. Take a moment here. We got our hips, get everything comfortable. Back to your diamond shape if you like, or keep right knee in the center. You decide here or here. Same thing on the floor. Dragging left foot on its side, down, taking it to the side, flexing, bending, coming back to center. Let's do it again. To the side of our foot, dragging it down, taking it to the side, flexing, bending, and coming back. Let's do it. Dragging, side, flexing, bending, center. Keep going. Down, side, bending, and back. Dragging it down, tummy tucked in, to the side, flexing, bending, and releasing. Let's do it again. Down, side, flex, bend, and center. Down, side, flexing, and bending. One more time, let's go down, side, flex, bend. First, let's come to our diamond and then bring knees together. Keep them together, taking them right and looking left. Breathing into it, open up. If you're on the floor, extend arms and have palm facing up. Breathing, tilting, tucking, flexing feet, feeling the twist, and then let's come back, take them the other way, flexing, tilting, tucking, turning to look to your right, breathing. And releasing to center. Let's sit back in the chair on the floor, relax on your back, relaxing shoulders, taking a deep breath, exhaling. Let's take a moment here. When you're ready, 
Let me do it on the chair first. Bring your right knee up, hands behind your knee or using a strap. Strap is another way to work with this. So if you prefer a strap, take this strap and keep pulling this leg or hands behind your knee. Keep pressing. Same thing on the floor. I come down for a moment. Have your left leg bend on the floor so you have less stress on your lower back. And let's take a big inhale. Exhale, let's bring face to our knee. Squeeze them toward each other. Feel that rounding of the spine. Breathing into it. <clears throat> and when you release your right leg, doing the same thing on the left. So let me show it on the floor. Remember in the chair, go ahead, bring the left knee in. Press it in. And when you're ready, rounding the spine, bringing face to our knee, squeeze it in. Relax, relax the foot down, wiggling shoulders, wiggling hips, right knee to face. This time, decide on your left leg. If you like to keep it bent, it's less a stress for your lower back. If you like to extend it, Point the toes, press the right knee in, exhale, face to knee, let's round our spine, breathing into it, keep the top foot flexed, the bent legs foot flexed, releasing, bringing foot down, bringing the other knee to chest, decide on your right leg if you want to extend, and on the chair you know how to extend your leg. <clears throat> Keep pressing it in, inhaling, exhaling, face to knee, squeezing them, breathing, pressing them toward each other, tummy is tucked in, relax into it. And releasing down. Let's bring both knees up and rock side to side. In the chair, if you're bringing knees to chest both together is too much, feet may be on the floor and you're going side to side. When you're ready, let's come center, relax, taking a deep breath here, exhaling. When you're ready, turn to your side, have that side arm like a pillow, extending the bottom leg, Bending the top leg on the back so you can take your ankle or using a strap, pull. I come to the chair. Stay here on the mat, relaxing neck. Tummy is tucked in, tilting pelvic floor. In the chair, from center, turn to the left side of your chair. Come a little bit to the front or middle of your chair so you can lean and have your side on the back of your chair. Your hand is holding the chair. Bring the top knee up. Let's take our ankle or using a strap. Pull. Extending upper body as we pull. If you want to extend this bent leg, again, come to the heel of your foot. Keep pulling. Breathing into it. And when you're ready to release on the mat, come back to your back first in the chair, turning to the center, and then let's turn the other way. On the mat, turn to the other side, and let's repeat. So in the chair, you, your side of your body is on the back of your chair, top leg comes up, you're pulling the strap. If you're on the floor, you're on your other side, make sure you use your arm like a pillow so your neck is flat. Take the strap or holding to your ankle, let's pull. Bottom leg, if it's okay to extend, if there is any discomfort, bending it. Breathing into it, gently pull. Tummy is tucked in, neck relaxed.
Inhaling, exhaling, releasing. Turn to the center of your chair. Roll to your back on the mat. And let's take a moment here. If you want to bend your legs or keep them extending, you decide. Let's take a moment here, relaxing. And when you're ready, first let me show it on the mat. Let's bend the legs if they are extending, turning to your side, and then let's turn to our tummies. Stacking up hands and resting forehead, wiggling shoulders, wiggling hips. Let's work with our legs. I come to the chair quickly. First of all, all muscles, make sure leg, hip, core muscles are engaged. You have a comfortable place for your hip bones. When you're ready to slowly take your right leg up from toes to thighs, and then we exhaling from thighs, coming down to toes. Taking an inhale, exhaling, left leg slowly goes up and coming down. Continue alternating legs in the chair. Turn to the side of your chair with one leg extending in the back and turn the toes so this Top of your foot is actually touching the floor. And then slowly lift that leg and release. It's a smaller range of motion in the chair, but it's perfectly useful. Tummy is tucked in. Slowly lift the leg and release. Extending upper body. Your hands are your support, hold, and your other leg is your support as well. Tummy is tucked in, slowly lifting the back leg and releasing and lifting. One more time, lifting and releasing. Turning to center of your chair and turning to the other side. On the mat, if you want to continue alternating or if you want to do both legs at the same time. Make sure you are leaning your side to the chair for support. Turn the toes so your so top of your foot is touching the floor. Then lifting and releasing. Tummy is tucked in, extending upper body. Lift and release. Again, lifting and releasing. Gently lifting. Mm -hmm and releasing, lift and release, tummy is tucked in, lifting, releasing, one more time, lift and release, relax, turning to the center of our chair, on the mat, take a moment here relaxing, you want to extend the legs or bend them, let's sit, Take a deep breath and on the chair, since I'm on the chair, if you want to sit back and relax or if you want to stack up hands and rest your forehead on the mat. From here, let's bring hands under our chest, lift ourselves, have legs at least hip width apart and let's sit back. Bringing Stacking up hands to rest our forehead. Wiggling shoulders, wiggling hips, tummy is tucked in. Relaxing, breathing. When you're ready, rest your forehead on your left hand, releasing right hand, bringing right arm to shoulder height, Turning palm up, bending arm, resting it on your back. Lift that shoulder, opening it up. Same thing is in the chair happening. So you're in the chair. If you want to raise the space between your legs and upper body, putting something there, rest your forehead, right arm, 
bending back, resting, opening that shoulder, relaxing into it, release that arm, let's take both hands, stacking them up, relaxing here, same thing on the mat. And then releasing left arm to shoulder height, palm up, bending it back, opening that shoulder, lifting it a touch, tummy is tucked in, deep breathing. Stacking up hands, relax here. And when you're ready, first, since I'm on the chair, slowly rolling up, <coughs> relax your shoulders. Sitting back, make sure your back has support. We bring right arm up and left leg as far high up as hip level if that's comfortable flexing the foot releasing and alternating take your time though don't do it fast let's go slowly deep breathing into it and then release continue and on the mat you are on your all fours from child pose let's come to all fours adjust make sure legs and feet our hip width apart, right arm comes up, if you want to add left leg, and then slowly releasing, exhaling left arm and right leg, and releasing. If this is too much, do one leg, only release, and do the left leg, and release, right arm and release left arm and release so you decide if you want to do one at a time taking an inhale exhale right arm if you're adding left leg and releasing down exhaling left arm if you're adding the right leg and releasing let's do it again exhaling right and left if you're doing both and releasing exhaling left and right and releasing let's have knees hip width apart sit back in your child pose same thing on the mat, on the chair. If you want to stack up hands and rest forehead, wiggle shoulders, wiggling hips. Relax into it, breathing. When you're ready to, on the mat, turning to your side. Coming down to our backs. Knees together, feet together, arms to shoulder height extending. Let's keep knees together as we take them to the right. Flexing feet, tilting pelvic floor, tucking tailbone, shoulders pressing down, neck and head center or turning left. Let's breathe into it. Engaging core muscles, breathing. coming back, knees together, feet together, knees going left, flexing feet, tilting, tucking, shoulders pressing, neck and head turning, breathing. Bring our arms down, wiggling shoulders, wiggling hips, sitting back comfortably on your chair. 
Or if you're on the floor, decide you want to keep legs bent or if you want to extend them. Just take a moment here, breathing softly and deeply. When you're ready to bend your left leg, bring right knee in and rest your ankle, right ankle on your left thigh. Take your right hand and press this knee away if you like to extend left arm at shoulder height. See that you're pressing lower back down, relaxing neck. If you're in the chair, make sure you're sitting back Turn your foot, extend if you like the left leg or keep it centered. And if it's okay to bring this leg up, using a strap if you wish, and pull the strap. If it works to rest your ankle on your thigh, make sure it's not on your knee, it's moved away. Pull the strap, use your hand and press this knee down. Feeling it in our right hip. Deep breathing into it. Feeling. Deep breathing. And on the chair, bring your leg, if it works here or here, turn knees, legs to the left. Press down. Bring your hand and gently press this knee down. Make sure you are in the ch on the chair. Make sure you have enough support under you. Gently press. And on the mat, you're here. Start turning legs to the left and left hand to the outside of your top knee, pressing it down. Let's keep our shoulders on the mat. Breathing into it, feeling the outside of your hip and thigh, gently pressing, breathing. Releasing, let's come back, adjust, align, wiggling, getting everything comfortable. <coughs> Left leg comes up goes to the right, and ankle rests on the thigh. Right arm at shoulder height extending, left hand inside the left knee, pressing it away. Pressing hips down, lower back down, and in the chair, remember the same thing. If you wanna use a strap to pull your leg up, use one hand to press the knee away, now feeling it in your left hip. Releasing our arm. And let's take our legs the way they are to the right. And then right hand comes to the outside of the top knee, pressing it down. It's the hand closest to your knee, not the one going across your chest. Gently press. Same thing in the chair. Breathing into it, relaxing neck and shoulders. If you want to keep neck and head center or turning it to the left, deep breathing. and releasing to center. Let's relax. Breathe in. <laughs> Bringing arms down, wiggling shoulders, wiggling hips. Take a moment here, breathing, relaxing. If you like to extend legs on the mat or keep them bent in the chair, make sure you're sitting back with your back resting. Taking time here, just breathing. Mm -hmm. 
If you have essential oil at home, this is about time to put a few drops in your hands. Bringing hands together, rubbing them together. Slowing it down, coming to a stop, pressing palms and fingertips onto one another. And if you have essential oil, bringing it closer in to breathing the aroma, enjoying it. Fingertips to the middle of our forehead, inhaling. Exhaling, sliding down, pressing, coming to the temples, pressing on to our temples. And again, from the middle. Exhaling down, pressing. And one more time. Exhaling down and pressing. Massaging our temples with our fingertips, going around, pressing. Changing direction, coming to a stop, pressing on to our temples once again. Fingertips to the top of our nose, inhaling, exhaling, sliding down, pressing on to our sinuses. Let's do it again from the top. Exhaling down, pressing. And one more time. Exhaling down and pressing. Massaging our face with the palms of our hands on two sides of our face, going around, pressing. And resting palms on two sides of our face. Gently pressing, inhaling, exhaling, sliding hands down our face. Let's make fist with our hands, massaging our belly area, gently pressing as we go around. Changing direction. And bringing hands to our shoulders, gently massaging our shoulders. Bringing arms down, taking a deep breath. Turning to your side, using hands and arms, slowly coming up if you're on the mat. Sitting any way that is comfortable for you. Let's bring our hands together, reaching up. Exhaling, opening our arms. And again, reaching to the sky, opening our hearts. One more time, reaching up, exhaling. If you like to bring hands together, I wish you peace, health, and true happiness. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Enjoy your day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.